Hello, in this video I will show you the stop motion convert extension for Adobe Premiere Pro. With this extension you can take a very long recording of a scene where you were moving some objects around that you shot with the intention to later cut down into a stop motion animation video. But instead of doing all the cutting and selecting proper frames, sticking them into your timeline which is quite laborious and tedious to be honest, instead of doing all that the stop motion animation extension can do it all for you pretty much completely automatically. It is mind blowing how easy this to create an awesome stop motion animation video using this extension. So let me show you how it works. So we are here in Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see I have on my timeline a very long recording, it's like almost 15 minutes long and as you can see I am moving my camera around in order to create this kind of a stop motion animation video where there's, there's the mount adapter and here we have uh, the lens that I'm then mounting onto the camera and I want to cut it down into a nice stop motion animation where you cannot see my hands that actually move around these objects. So what you need to do in order to use the stop motion convert extension is first you have to open it which is by going to the window menu, extensions and selecting stop motion convert, I already have it open and it is this tiny panel right here. It has two main buttons which are called set markers and convert because this process is a two step process. The first step is to set markers which this extension will automatically try to figure out in which places onto this long clip should it place markers and these markers indicate the frames that later be used to create the final stop motion animation video and after those frames are set, you have the opportunity to actually delete some of the markers that should not appear there if so it happens and then you click the other option which is called convert and then you convert it to a final stop motion. So let me show you how it works for this example. So the first step is to click on the set markers and as you can see the pop-up window appeared that you are encoding some footage and that is because this extension actually needs to transcode your piece of footage first into a format that will be later used by the algorithm to detect the optimal places of those frames that will be used for the stop motion animation video. So if this pop-up appears, don't worry, just let it run and don't cancel it and then after it's done it will automatically start the algorithm to detect the optimal frames to take into the stop motion animation video. And as you can see you have a nice progress bar, just again wait it out until it's done and when it's done it will automatically add markers to your clip that indicate the frames that the algorithm thought are optimal to use for the final stop motion animation video. And then what you can do is you can actually go to the markers panel, if you don't see this again you can go to window and then markers right here. Open the markers panel and then you can scroll down and here on the left hand side you can check like a thumbnail of the frame that this marker is set to. And you can go through this and see if there's any frame that should not be here. For instance sometimes it happens that there's a shot with my hands right here but I can just conveniently use the command or control key in order to select multiple markers that I want to delete and then just hit the delete key and all the markers are gone. And now as you can see if I scroll up and down here by looking at those thumbnails you can pretty much see the final stop motion animation and it already looks pretty awesome. And if you feel like there were just too many markers to delete in a invalid places, you can always expand this show parameters window and there there are two parameters that you can tweak to your liking. There's a threshold and there's a certainty and if you click on this tiny help button right here you will get an explanation of how the change of this exact parameter will result in the number of markers that are being placed. So you can play around with this and tweak it to your needs but I have run this for a couple of stop motion animation videos and those values that you have right here by default should work pretty good. And then if you are done, if you have removed all of those markers that should not be in the final stop motion animation, then let me just zoom in here so you can see what is happening. If you hit this convert button right here, you will see that on this track above it you will see a very short clips that are basically one frame long portions of this clip right here from the places where the markers are set. So I'm just gonna click convert and as you can see those tiny tiny clips start to appear right here. And and then we can pretty much remove this clip right here and then if we play this back as you can see it pretty much looks like a final stop motion animation video, right? Pretty awesome. Of course if you want to work further on this stop motion animation you can just select all of those clips, right click and nest and then on this nest you can do whatever you want with it. You can for instance rotate it 180 degrees to make it look the way that you would want. You can uh, color grade it so maybe add a little bit of orange into the midtones and maybe a little bit of blues into the shadows. 
and you have a final stop motion that you can use in your videos and stop motion animation videos are awesome in order to spice up your product videos like product reviews on social media and whatnot honestly i am surprised that not a lot of people are doing this kind of shots because they really make you stand out from the crowd and with this extension like the stop motion convert for premiere pro it is just so so easy so you can start doing that today and by the way yes i am the developer of stop motion convert i am the author of this plugin so if you want to get it for yourself head over to the description of this video and click on the first link that will take you to the product page of stop motion convert and while you are there definitely check out my other extension for the b premiere pro which is called drag zoom pro and this extension is also a massive massive time saver if you do a lot of like screen recording videos or maybe talking head videos because it really speeds up the way you can do those zoom in or zoom out or pan over animations in post-production so definitely check it out also i have a full demo video about that other plugin where you can watch by clicking on the card right here and on my channel i usually do like tutorials with regards to photography and filmmaking so if you want to check out my playlist of premiere pro tutorials you can click on the card right here and don't forget to subscribe because i post new videos pretty much every single week and also give this video a like if you liked it i would really appreciate it and see you next time hopefully bye bye